Hello everybody, my name is Vince, and today I'm gonna have another tutorial for you guys. This time it's gonna be the process of getting your virtual Wii's NAND off of your Wii U to work on Dolphin. And all the steps you need, and some of the smaller details as well, like making sure you can go online and such. Now the site I will be using is wiiu.hacks.guide. Now if you're familiar with Homebrew, this is one of the various consoles that they mod for. There's a lot that Homebrew can do, but what we're going to be focusing on is the NAND extraction process and saving your virtual Wii's backup to Dolphin. So we'll just jump on over to the vWii modding section to start off. And now we can get started with the setup process. On the computer side of the setup, all you really need is a computer that's capable of running Dolphin games and a memory card that is around 2 to 32 gigabytes. Now, this part isn't absolutely necessary, but I figure I'll put this in anyway. What we're going to be doing is a quick formatting of our memory card. It's a simple plug it in, go to the memory card, and we right click and look for format. We want to put it into FAT32 if you're using any memory card over 32 gigabytes. And there you go. It's formatted properly and it's safe to use for this entire process. Okay, with our memory formatted memory card, we can now start putting in the files. Now we're going to be following the VWE modding guide pretty closely, but I'll be showing you all the files that you'll be needing so you can follow along and show you what your memory card should be looking like at the end. The first file we will need is Tiramisu. Just click on the green download link. The second file is the VWE Compat installer. All we need is the .elf file. It should just download pretty quickly if you just click on it. And then the other two, which download instantly when you click the link, which is the patched iOS 80 installer for VWE and the D2XC iOS installer. These just download immediately after you click the link. Now let's move on over to our folders. Okay, so as the instructions go, we're going to start with the patched iOS installer. We're going to extract that. It's going to have an entire folder. Just drag that onto the SD card. Get the D2X iOS installer and extract that. Should just be a folder. And we'll grab that, put it on there. Uh, next is the tiramisu.zip, which, which should start with the words environment loader. There will be two files, one folder and one JSON file. And we stick them both into the root of the SD card as well. Like so. And then lastly, we got the compatinstaller.elf file. We stick this into the Wii U slash apps folder. And this was the folder found in the tiramisu.zip folder. Alright, so we got all the files, we put them in the right places, so we can safely eject our SD card, and we can move it over to the Wii U. Okay, so now we're on the NAND backup side of things. So we're going to put on our prepared SD card, we're going to turn on our Wii U, and then we will be heading immediately to the Internet Explorer app, as we will be doing the browser exploit method. So this will require your Wii U gamepad for this one. Make sure it's fully charged. And on the link, we will be typing in Wii U exploit dot X Y Z. It is all in lowercase and there are no spaces. A link will be in the description below just to make sure you got the exact typing. All right, now let's go hit search. There should now be a blue screen with uh, the Squid Sisters from Splatoon on the sides. And on the bottom there, you should be seeing Run Exploit. Now this next part is easy to miss, so pay close attention before you do anything. The moment you hit Run Exploit, you will be getting a white screen. And when you see that white screen, you must push and hold the B button on your Wii U gamepad. This is how we get to the NAND dumper. You should see Wii U on the bottom right. Followed by a black screen with a reflection of a 30-year-old Italian man recording using a phone wearing a Yoshi shirt. If you got here, it means you got to the easy part now. Press up or down on the control pad till you get to the NAND dumper. And press A to confirm. Or B if you messed up at some point to go back. Alright, so there's a lot of files, but we only need two. 
We only need the second one, dump SLCCMPT, and the fourth one, dump OTP. R the rest of this applies mostly to the Wii U's internal memory, as opposed to the V Wii. Confirm your yeses and your noes, and you should be good. Your TV monitor should be showing your typical Wii U loading screen, but your gamepad should be showing the dumping process. It should take about a minute and 30 seconds, roughly. I'm just going to skip ahead to the end. And there we go, we got everything dumped onto our memory card. Now, one of the files isn't completely ready yet, so there's one more important thing that we gotta do. In order to get the VWeez NAND working correctly, we're gonna need a program called Show Me VWee Keys. This was a program created by Curious Tommy, and I'll just show you a quick rundown of what you gotta do. It's very simple. All you gotta do is just follow me, and you should be fine. With the link provided, we will be heading over to this site, and we will be downloading showmevwikis.zip. Not the source code, just the zip file. Alright, now all you gotta do is just extract it, uh, preferably to a folder, and there you go. So, for my instance, we're gonna be using Windows, so let's head over to that folder, and let's head over to our SD card. Uh, ignore the USB drive. It's still the SD card, it's just attached to an adapter. All right, but with that said, let's navigate over to our OTP file and let's drag it over there. And all we gotta do now is drag and drop the OTP file, like so. And it's literally that easy. You just get the keys file and then you're good. And before we do the final step, we're just gonna drag our files over here and I'm just gonna go 550 times faster than the normal loading speed to bring my giant file over. Okay, and now I think we're all ready for the final step. Let's go to our Dolphin, and on the menu tab, we look at Tools, Manage NAND, and then Import NAND. Now, on a normal Wii, it's usually called NAND.bin, but on the virtual Wii, we are looking for the SLC CMPT file. We just wait for a load, and then it'll ask for our keys file, which we now currently have on us. This one takes quite a bit longer, so I'll just skip to the end. And there we go! Our memory is now fully backed up into our dolphin. And for proof that this is mine, I have an old screenshot over here where I played Excitebots back in 2013, back before I backed it up on my Wii U. Now, if your goal was to play old Wii games with your old save data on Dolphin, then you're pretty much done here. But if you're interested in playing the online once again after its initial shutdown, then there's just a couple more things we gotta do. The first of which is patching our Wii's ISO for it to be able to use WiiMMFI, which is basically a replacement service for Nintendo Wi-Fi. With this specific link, we can head on over to WiiMMFI's ISO patcher, which can be found right here. And we get ourselves an ISO of whatever Wii game we need to get. WBFS format also works as well, which is what I'll be doing in the example below. So now we just go to our folder with the patcher app, paste our Wii file into the folder with it, and then you just double click on the patcher to activate it. It just takes a bit to run the whole thing. It uh, actually takes uh, quite a bit longer than I thought I did. And then voila, a new folder will be created with all your patched Wii files. Alright, so here we are doing a test on Mario Kart Wii. You'll notice a very blatant difference in that the Nintendo Wi-Fi has been replaced by WiiMMFI instead. If you went this far, you are now able to play Mario Kart Wii due to Wii MMFI having a special patch for this game specifically. And naturally that's to be expected. Mario Kart Wii was a very popular game back in its day, and it still holds strong today. And naturally they gave it some special treatment. And now we're going to be using an example from a non-Mario Kart Wii game. Here's what we get if we connect with all the information we've learned so far. 
right here, I'm going to be showing that the Wi-Fi connections is in fact working. Now, as you can see here, we have ourselves an error code, error code 60,000. This is an error code that means that your friend code is not registered to WMMFI. Ordinarily, you wouldn't even see any error code message at all. It'll just say that the service has been discontinued. This means that we are heading in the right direction, and there are a couple of ways to bypass this. The easiest way to mitigate this is just making a new file altogether. But, if you want to still play with your old file, here's what you gotta do to bypass error code 60,000. The answer is cheat codes. Don't worry, we're not doing anything illegal. As a matter of fact, this is actually an approved cheat code by one of the administrators of the WMM5 team, Lesserat. Now, we're going to be skipping the first three parts of his instructions, and instead, I will be substituting them with my own. First off, we got to right-click our ISO file from the Dolphin menu. Go to Properties, navigate to the right until you find File System, and then right on the top, we will right-click on Disk. And what we're going to do here is Extract All Disk. And preferably, let's put this into a new folder that we can easily find. The extraction process takes a little bit of time, so while that takes its time, I'll show you uh, from a previous example. You just look into the folder you extracted into, go to data, and then to SYS, and we're looking for main.doll. And like part four of the instructions say, we're just going to put this into a nice folder for safekeeping. And that's number four of the instructions, more or less. So let's move on naturally to five, and then we're going to download the error code 60,000 cheat code generator. This will generate a gecko code that will help us get our friend code. We're going to copy that file, paste it to where we had main.doll, and we're just going to extract the file. Now we move on to step six. And in order to do that, we're going to need a copy of our CMD, or our command line. For those not in the know how to find your command prompts exe file, it starts from your PC to your C drive, otherwise known as your system folder, to Windows, to System32. And if you just look alphabetically on the files, you should eventually find cmd.exe. We're just going to make a copy of that, and then we're going to post that to the folder where we have the main.doll and our code patcher. Now with all three files in the same location, we can run cmd.exe, just double tap it, and then we just throw in this line of text, which goes 60,000 dash cheat code dash generator dash win64.exe space main.dol. And you can find this entire line of code in step number six. It's all highlighted for you. Toss in that exact line of code, and with all fingers crossed, it should generate you your friend code gecko code. Copy that 8 by 2 by 9 code sequence. And we'll be heading over to Dolphin, where we once again right click on the game we were looking at. Go on over to properties. Navigate this time over to gecko codes. And after clicking in add new code, we paste that entire code sequence. And to prove that it's now officially working this time, we're going back to the gate in Animal Crossing City Folk, and we're going to be testing out the connectivity. And look at that! We have finally done it! And now you're going to see an official connection. For this one, I asked for Liz to help me out, and you'll hear us talking in a bit. There you are. All right, get ready for this. I want you to stay right there. Okay. Here it comes. Ah, oh, looks like someone's here. Please have a safe and enjoyable journey. And here we go. We're viewing this live. Look at that. Vincent, meet Vincent. <laughs> it's like meeting my past self. Yo! Yeah. <laughs> And yeah, there you go, it all works. 
Now, before I head off, there's just a few more things that I just want to mention. So, like Lesserat said in his post, there are several games that this is confirmed to work for, and there may be some games where it might not work. I know for a good example, uh, GoldenEye on the Wii uses a completely different uh, uses a completely different connection from what I hear. I never actually got it confirmed myself. All I know is that I haven't been able to connect to the Wi-Fi, and it appears to be a completely different server altogether that is that handles GoldenEye. And I also want you to keep in mind that Lesserat's post is about three years old. And a lot of updates had been happening in those past three years. ExciteBots, for instance, is confirmed working now. In fact, if you look at this screenshot over here, I do have confirmation that I was able to connect to my past self using a more modern file on Dolphin. Another thing I'd like to point out is that there are actually communities that still thrive uh, via Discord and whatnot. I'm not going to personally tell you the discords themselves, but if you can think of a Wii game that has Wi-Fi, it most likely exists. It seems that most of the communities are pretty well regulated, but on the other hand of things, what you end up with in the internet is up to your own discretion. So, if you don't like what you see, uh, I don't know what to tell you. Stay in a vacuum. And I think it's high time to give some credit where credit is due. From the creator of the Wii U Hex Guide, there's El Punical, Flim Flam 69, Flump, Gary Order Nix, Hyper Haas, Huhen, I Have a Hack slash I Have a Mac, Link 5261, Michelle, Noah ABC 12345, Playlect, Profanity, and Red QB. These guys have all contributed to making this guide and several others that have been unnamed and they did a really good job with this guide. Special thanks to the original creators of the Nan Dumper by Cool Dev and uh, the creator of the Mocha CPU that was pretty much a predecessor to Tiramisu, created by Dmock. And there are several other people who contributed to this Wii U scene publicly, uh, such as Smealum, Plu2, Yellows8, Nairwert, and Derek. Special thanks to Curious Tommy for making Show Me V Wii Keys which uh, allows you to <laughs> put your NAND onto the Dolphin. Very much a good thank you to that guy. A little special thanks to the Homebrew Discord, who actually took the time to help me out and figure out what I was doing wrong. <laughs> You'll probably see that comment chain if you look for me. Special thanks to the creators of WeMMFI, which is WeMMM and Lesserot. They are both the creators and the admins of WeMMFI. I know I give a lot of credit to Lesserot, but uh, WeMM, as I now found out, is actually another, is a separate user and creator. They do wonderful work. It is really impressive what they do. Special thanks to Liz, my partner in crime, who puts up with all the crazy experiments I do with uh, WeMMFI. And finally, I'd like to give a personal shout out to uh, Jack Sorrell, who, he's had a couple of tutorials that basically taught me uh, quite a number of things. And I just wanted to give him some credit as well. And I believe that's everything. If you guys have any questions on how to do any of this or have any input, I might have to, you know, update this video in case something is just out of date or something doesn't make sense. Uh, but I believe that's everything. All right. Thank you very much. And bye-bye.